So let's have a look at a tabloid newspaper master that I've made. Now when you need something a bit more than a blog, try looking at some serious print, print or PDF that is, and produce yourself a tabloid newspaper. This one does five pages, which should be enough for anybody, I would think, unless you're getting into the commercial world, and if you produce it for print, use CMYK, and if you produce it for digital distribution, produce it in RGB slash 8. But I'll tell you all that later. So the first thing to do is retrieve the archive and extract the files from the archive. And you'll find it containing the AF template, the AF publisher and sample PDF files on my website archive at the following. Those addresses you can see there Robert hyphen Chalmers UK, Affinity hyphen Downloads, and also on my Wix site where I'm developing um, the website as well. Now what can you do with a tabloid? You can cover a wide range of subjects. You can produce in print and PDF with hyperlinks, that's website links. So if you're distributing as a PDF, you can have links in your file, links to other pages, links to pages that contain articles um, in a much expanded format. That's really up to you how complex you make that. You can produce to regular schedules and all pages the articles are time stamped because if you do it right you've got the date stamp on each paper. Oh, and it looks really cool. Now, open either the Tabloid Newspaper Master AF pub file or the template and save it with your preferred name. Don't go saving over the template or your master because that means, well, you ruin your master file. So save it as something else and you can see here I've called it Tabloid Newspaper. Well, yeah. Edit names and text to suit on the pages, including the images. Most of those images will fit exactly where you want them. Notice the grey column guides behind the text. That helps with alignment. These don't print out, by the way. They're, they're just there to show you where the, as column guides for the print. Now, zoom in using Command Plus and zoom out using Command Minus. This is on the Mac. I'm not too sure what the... Um, appropriate command is on a Windows machine, perhaps Control plus and Control minus. Getting closer helps with accuracy of editing because as you can see it's a fairly small size on the screen but you can make it as big as you like with Control plus and then go back out with Control minus or Command plus Command minus on the Mac. Now repeat the process with all pages and you can see I've got three, four, five pages there. Lots of images, lots of stories, very newspaper style. Load your master file, select your preferred page and edit that page. You can export all pages to PDF or preferred format. You might, you might, want, to, you might want to export them as a PNG for all I know. And you can print out the resulting pages. Exporting individual pages. Now this may elude you at first, but it's very simple. Load your master file, select the preferred page and edit it. And if you want to export it, select export all pages, then type in the page number you want. In that case, you can see I've got page three and click export. So it doesn't export all the pages. It exports page three only. And that's fairly straightforward. All pages in one PDF file? Well, that's ideal for digital distribution because, as you know, with Adobe, with um, Adobe Reader, you can step through one page at a time. And you can see on that item there, all the pages are in the left-hand column, in the thumbnails column, and we're on page one. And you just use the down arrow to go through all the pages, down arrow, up arrow, to move around your PDF document. Now some of the exporting options, page 4 only, select all pages and type in page 4. 
all pages, individual pages in one PDF file, just select all pages. Don't do all spreads because you get the dual pages on one PDF file and that's it's really difficult to read. PDF for digital display. Now if you're going digital and you're not printing these out, it's digital only. Change the colour profile from RG to RGB8 from CMYK. In this document it defaults to CMYK. But go to document setup, top left hand side there, and go to colour and change it from CMYK to RGB8. And you can also add hyperlinks if you want in your document. Now remember, PDF is digital display, and if you go PDF digital high quality, you can add hyperlinks. In some of the others, like PDF for print, you can't add hyperlinks in the document. It knows which one you're in. And that's it for this little exercise. Download the masters and enjoy. Affinity tutorials on YouTube. Please subscribe. Show your love. Thanks for watching.